This is Mark Veltz reporting for AvWeb at EAA AirVenture 2023 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. After a string of several high-profile hypoxia-related tragedies over the past few years, the FAA is here at AirVenture with a portable hypoxia chamber, and people can sign up for a chance to experience their own response to what would be a slow loss of pressurization at altitude. It's not an actual pressure chamber, but rather uses gas, mixed gases to scrub oxygen from the ambient air to simulate altitudes of around 27,000 feet. The FAA calls it the PROT, uh, Portable Reduced Oxygen Training Environment, P-R-O-T-E. I volunteered to try it out for AvWeb, and you'll get to see my lips turn blue in a minute, but first, let's listen to FAA aerospace physiologist J.R. Brown explain how it all works. My name is J.R. Brown. I work for the Federal Aviation Administration with the Civil Aerospace Medical Institute, and I'm an aerospace physiologist. Uh, we developed the PROT, which is our portable reduced oxygen training enclosure, back in 2010 to meet a need for pilot training and safety. Uh, the only way a pilot could ever experience hypoxia is to come to an altitude chamber, which are, of course, located in several areas, but limited access. So we needed to bring the hypoxia to the people so essentially what we have done is built an alternative chamber that is portable and can be moved to several locations so we take this once a month on the road and we train up to 200 pilots per month and we give them exposure to a hypoxia so that they can recognize their own hypoxia symptoms and that way if it ever occurs in the actual aircraft they'll know what it feels like and they know what it is and they know what to do about it that is to put their mask on before they can't put their mask on uh, well here I find the people are much more friendly and uh, so when they come in they want to learn a lot of the people we train have to be there people who come here want to be here so it's been well received and I, I feel that people really like it we've had a few people who come up to us and tell us that uh, the training that they received through this pro helped them identify hypoxia in the actual airframe and there's been three or four incidents where pilots have come up to me and basically shook my hand and said thanks you saved my life because I was able to recognize hypoxia before it became an issue basically uh, you could get several different set of symptoms uh, but the symptoms we most commonly hear about is tingling dizziness and uh, hot and cold flashes but it could be very individual to the person when we bring them in there the biggest thing they learn is what their first symptom is which is typically the strongest symptom they're going to experience which is can be different for everybody but once they've learned that symptom it stays with them for the rest of their life it typically doesn't change and that's the benefit of doing hypoxia training at least once is that you know what to look for in that environment as part of my job as a journalist I had a sort of a ride in an actual pressure chamber way back in the mid-1980s. And my response this time was similar. I didn't feel particularly lightheaded or euphoric. I had no tunnel vision or loss of color perception. My other symptoms also felt minimal to me, leading me to think this wasn't such a big deal. 94, 91, 88, 85, 82. And stop at 82. I want you to take the number 82 and divide it by 2 and watch your answer. But I really was slowly getting more easily confused. And you can maybe tell my lips are getting more blue and I'm losing color in my face. Just as I remember from my experience 40 some odd years ago, I never came close to passing out and put on the mask when my pulse oximeter showed less than 65%. But in my debrief, JR explained that my response was among the most dangerous. Some pilots feel just fine, right up until they don't. Everyone's physiology is different, and your particular responses will likely stay the same over time, just as mine did. If you'd like to experience what it's like to try to breathe at 27,000 feet, the FAA Civil Aerospace Medical Institute, or CAMI, offers a one-day training course to familiarize U.S. civil aviation pilots and flight crews with the physio physiological and psychological stresses of flight. You can also contact the FAA safety team, FAST, for information on when and where a portable reduced oxygen training environment unit might be available in your area. This is Mark Phelps reporting for AvWeb.